I hope everyone's having a great evening. I'm Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're doing something slightly different, not the usual trigonometry or the calculus topic, but we have geometry. We have to prove in this video for a parallelogram that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other, or you can say that the diagonals meet each other at 90 degrees. A parallelogram is a polygon made of two pairs of parallel sides. The opposite sides are parallel to each other. You have AB parallel to DC, BC is parallel to AD. If you were to draw in this parallelogram two diagonals, one from A to C and then the other one from B to D, you can say segment AC should be perpendicular to segment DB or they would meet each other here at 90 degrees. It may not look like 90 degrees to you over here based on the drawing, but it should be the case. How would you show that? And that right there is the subject of this video. There are multiple ways. I'm just showing you one way. Start with drawing a pair of parallel lines. Then draw two transversal lines, but the two transversal lines are parallel to each other. When you do this, you see a parallelogram will develop exactly as you would imagine, two pairs of parallel sides. If you were to call this side A, then you know by means of corresponding angles and the effects which are generated by parallel lines and transversal lines, you have all of these A angles generated. If this here is A, you know that right there must also be A. By means of the supplementary angle definition or straight line equaling 180, if that right there is A, this right here is 180 minus A. And you know the corresponding angles to that would be here, here, and then uh, opposing to that would be right here. You'd have 180 minus A. You've now generated all the internal angles you would see for a parallelogram, and I'll just show them to you right over here. And you've also shown one more thing, that the angles which are opposing each other in terms of their vertices are equal to each other. This A is equal to that A. This 180 minus A is equal to this 180 minus A. The opposite angles in terms of the opposing vertices are equal to each other. A, A and 180 minus A, 180 minus A. So we've made some good progress over here. What can we do now? I'll draw a parallelogram over here, a new parallelogram, and now I'll draw the diagonals. When I draw the diagonals, what happens here, what was originally the A angle has been split into two parts, A over 2 and A over 2. And this obtuse angle, which you know to be 180 minus A, when you do the diagonal and you bisect that angle, you've generated two angles, which are half of this. You'll have 90 minus A over 2, and you have 90 minus A over 2. Take any of these triangles. I'm looking at only this triangle. But all these triangles would be the same in terms of their internal angles. The sum of the internal angles for any triangle is 180. If I take this little triangle and I show it, I have one A over two over here, I have one angle X here. I'm looking here at this angle X, which should be in 90 degrees, and then I have this angle 90 minus A over two. The sum of these three internal angles should be 180, and we will solve for the X accordingly. We'll have A over two plus 90 minus A over two plus X should equal 180. This minus A over 2 and positive A over 2 will cancel out. And then you'll have 90 plus X is equal to 180. And then you know X here is equal to 90. 180 minus 90 is 90. So now we've demonstrated that this angle X over here is indeed 90 degrees. It's a right angle. And we can draw the designation here for a right angle. But the same thing will be determined for all of these because they will all have the same internal angles. So now you can see the fact that all of these are 90 degrees and indeed segment AC and segment BD, they will have a perpendicular relationship. They'll meet at 90 degrees with one another. And we have proven the case for a parallelogram that the diagonals are indeed perpendicular to each other. And this is just one way of doing it. You could do a different way, but this way is not bad and it has been done for you. And that's all for this particular video. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye.